we need to make sure that all students, and I really want to emphasize all students, have a positive and a rewarding experience at UNH. UNH President James Dean acknowledging in a town hall with students not all of them are having that experience. The meeting focusing on diversity lasted for over an hour. UNH leaders started with listing their initiatives, including having a more diverse faculty, staff, and student body. For student body numbers, when it comes to racial and ethnic identities, they are very low when compared to majority group counterparts. Another area of focus, having an inclusive and welcome environment for all. Among one of the actions taken, there will be a new tool replacing a previous system for reporting bias and racism. It launches in November. Any student who reports bias and racist incidences have 100 percent support from start to finish. UNH says they will also survey high school juniors and seniors to learn more about how they view the university. And at the graduate level, a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program for underrepresented students is in the works. They're also partnering with Howard University, a historically black college, and the University of Texas at San Antonio. We are not satisfied with where we are as a university. We know that we have a lot of work to do, and many of your questions sort of had that implication. We accept that. President Dean made it a point at the start of the meeting to mention he is aware about an issue surrounding a faculty member that was reported to them earlier this week. He called the allegations troubling and that they are investigating right now. He would not go into any more details. In Manchester, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.